So I learned the word GAT yesterday. I'm officially certified in the studies of GAT. I'm highly qualified to talk about this subject is what I'm trying to say. And then I can tell you about it because I learned a lot. Yesterday on the internet, I learned what GAT was. And then I got certified in the studies of GAT studies. Yeah, so if you guys don't know what GAT means, don't worry because I GAT you. I GAT you. I'm going to teach you guys today. <laughs> GATA be certified. Okay, so GAT is like a sound. So it means big booty. Hold on, actually, I have translated it in a few different, a few different languages. Okay, so here is the translations. I translated it from Zoomer to Millennial. So GAT translated from Zoomer to Millennial is, oh, hold on, let me flip my, let me flip my camera real fast. It's kind of confusing to read it backwards. Don't worry, don't worry, I got it. Okay, now you can read it. So, if I translated GAT from Zoomer to Millennial, and the rough translation translation of GAT would be, dang, that peach double kicked up on a Thursday afternoon. So hopefully if you're a Millennial, that helps you understand what GAT means a little more. If you're Gen X, GAT translated to Gen X, actually, it, it means good gracious, booty, bodacious, you know, it's a really, really good one. And then if you're a boomer, zoomer to boomer, the translation is, oh yes, a very voluptuous took us indeed. So hopefully that helps you guys understand what GAT means. Yeah, I had to translate to each to each generation. Here, if you guys need to take notes, I have I've printed the translations here. So what is GAT? GAT GAT is the sound you make when you see someone. So Instead of saying, instead of seeing someone with a big booty and being like, good gracious booty bodacious, because that's, that's quite a mouthful, right? You just, instead, you'll say, yeah, oh, like, like it's almost taking your breath away, if that makes sense. You guys are following so far? Okay, good, good, good. I hope you have your notes. Yeah, so it's almost like, and it's almost got like a glottal T, kind of like in British English, when people say bottle of water, you know? It's kind of like that. You drop the T sound and it's more of like a yeah. <laughs> Came from like saying like, I can't swear, but basically being like, gosh dang, that's a big booty. To like, slow, to like just, to just like a sound. That sound being yeah, which is crazy. I like it. It's good. Our founding fathers used to say this. They used to say, I'm pretty sure when they landed in America, their our founding fathers' first words were, "Ah, oh, yes, a very voluptuous took us indeed." It's just the, it's just how America be. Get, get, ding, <laughs> the Martha Washington booty. I also learned there's a really popular song that's called "Sticking Out Your Get for the Rizzler," and if you guys need help translating that song, um, I can actually help you with that because not only not only am I certified in the studies of GAT, uh, not only do I have this certificate of GAT studies, but uh, funny enough, I'm actually a certified Rizzler as well. So I, I can help you guys with both of these. I have a certificate of Rizzling. So I'm actually pretty qualified on both of these subjects. I learned a word yesterday on the internet called cat. <laughs> and so now I'm teaching it to everybody. I've been coming to this stream for a long time. And, <laughs> and that was not... You weren't expecting that? And he's going to show us what it means to stick out your gat for a Rizzler. I will be the Rizzler in this scenario. Uh, since I am a certified... Um, you know, since I do have my certificate of Rizzling, I will be in this scenario the Rizzler. And to demonstrate sticking out your gat, we're gonna have um, Killer Queen. Here we go. This is exactly what it means. That's exactly what it means. As he, as demonstrated by Killer Queen a few seconds ago, that is what it means to stick out your gat for the Rizzler. Hold on one second. Let me bring him back. Where'd he go? We get Killer Queen is sticking out his gat for the follow. 
for the follower. He just wants to be your Sigma. <laughs> I can't twerk. I don't have the confidence for that, but you know who does? This guy. This guy does. Look at him. He's so good at it, too. I'm always learning something new here. <laughs> I'm glad. This is why I shouldn't go on the internet, because I literally went on the internet for 20 minutes, and then I learned what GAT was, and then I got GAT certified, and then I got Rizzle certified, and then I had to translate GAT in from every language from Zoomer to Boomer. So we got, we got Zoomer all the way to Boomer here. Just so that I could teach it properly. The haters will say my certificate of Rizzling is GAT. 